Ah, what a beautiful day to be hitting the trail, am I right? Is that a fanny pack you have on? Yeah, 100%. Thanks for noticing. Where'd you find that? Your grandpa's garage? No, what are you talking about? Hip packs have always been in style when it comes to the outdoors. What capability does that have outside of carrying your wallet and keys? Well, I'm glad you asked. Not only is it made right here in America, but it has the capability to not only carry my water purifier, what? But also my 32 ounce water bottle. What other secrets might this pack hold? Well, the next few minutes are about to show you just what other secrets the Grail in collaboration with Earthwell Bottle Lock Hip Pack has going on. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another video. I'm Aaron coming at you from South Dakota. And this waist pack has the potential to run in tandem with a backpack or be a standalone scout kit and i've hit the trail now several times with this and gotten a good feel for what its capabilities are if there are any limitations that i'm going to share with you today so let's go ahead and dive right in so before i show you the guts of the bag itself let's go ahead and look at the two party tricks which is just the fact that it can carry two separate water bottles and either compress and go away and become that really slim uh four and a half liter you know hip pack or completely open up and carry these two separate bottles because there are a few lumbar bags which are very large and kind of cumbersome um, that will carry water bottles but most hip packs in this size range just can't do it this is very impressive the first is the bottom which uh, is where it'll either cinch down and completely tuck away or open up large enough for either the ultra press or you could fit the, the geo press in here, the larger diameter model. And most 32 ounce Nalgene's or other water bottles would fit in here on the bottom portion. Uh, it does have these two compression straps with shock keepers to keep the excess uh, tucked away. And what's nice is it has two rubberized panels that really grip the water bottle. So it's not gonna slip around, fall out. It's really grabbed in there. I wasn't nervous about losing my you know press, my uh, ultra press and it really works well and cinches it down tight so it's not flapping around smacking your booty, uh, feeling like you're at the club or something like that. It really does keep it where it's supposed to be and keep it from uh, being a nuisance uh, when you are trekking with a bottle down below. Now it's obviously easy to remove the grail from the bottle lock system, but what about putting it back in? I was a little concerned, is it gonna be a headache? Ultimately, are you just gonna have to spin the whole bag around or really put it back into place? But I found as long as you use two hands, you can easily guide it right back into place. It takes about 15 seconds without having to spin the whole bag around to the, your front. Uh, and then you can easily manipulate the straps to really cinch it down again and hit the trail and keep on moving. And then this side hip can either be used for a thermos, water bottle, you know, whatever you would want to do. Uh, and it has the Velcro, it has the two large bungee or one bungee and then uh, nylon down below to really support this well. And what I would, how I hiked with it was carrying 32 ounces of water and then having the empty press below that if I need to, then I can top off the, the water bottle or direct, drink directly from there. Many scenarios where you know that there's a lot of water sources, you don't even need an algae or another water bottle. You can just literally carry the press and either carry it on the hip if you like or underneath, whichever is your preference. So I really appreciate that and that is genius in how it all operates. And I really didn't have any issues. It didn't feel unbalanced. It didn't slap around. It didn't want to fall out. And I was very impressed in the way that this was engineered to really work well in carrying multiple water bottles. So for the guts of the bag itself, currently it only comes in the black multi-cam, which I think is an epic choice. It is uh, Cordura fabric 500D and it is uh, weather coated. So it's going to be water resistant as well and help beat off and kind of fight off a lot of the elements, which is awesome. Easy to clean you do get one little run of uh stacked pals webbing you know so you could run different things through that if you would like on the front panel here we have a tuck away uh, zipper all ykk zippers on the front end you have a little stash pocket as well as a key keeper so you can throw your knickknacks in uh, as well as a good pull tab right there and then you have your uh, water resistant coated YKK zippers up top for the main compartment. Uh, again, I probably said it a couple times, but it's gonna be uh, 4.5 liters overall in size there. And you can easily get your um, little survival kit for me and my med kit in there, as well as like your phone, your wallet, uh, a few snacks, you know, everything that you would need. And there's two separate pockets in there. One is a zipper pocket on the back side, and on the front side is a little um, Velcro pocket as well. So they give you a little bit of organization. It's not just this big dump pocket 
inside there. And so, so when I saw that this pack was getting released and that it was American made, had the potential to carry two water bottles when most fanny packs cannot carry even one, and that was from a brand and company Grail that I've been using and trusting for years now in my water purification systems. I know many of you guys have as well. I reached out to the company, said, hey, I'd love to test this out for my audience, for you guys, the viewers, showing you pros and cons, ins and outs, so you guys can make a wise choice. They were willing to send this over to me so I can do just that. So I hope that throughout this video, you're seeing what the potential for this is and whether or not it's a piece of kit that's worth putting into your rotation. And so now this is gonna go for about 150 bucks for this American made piece of equipment and I will have a link for you guys in the description box below over to the Grail website so you can check it out see all the ins and outs on paper as well and make that wise choice on whether or not this is worth throwing in your rotation let's hit the waist belt and mounting options now you have nice breathable mesh all the way around and on the wings uh, the wings are pretty thin they're not very dense but that means that it helps with um, being more of a hip pack than a lumbar pack still carries loads very well and even when i had that 32 ounce nalgene on that wing it wasn't rubbing my hip or causing any sort of hot spot so uh, for what it's designed to do it does really well on the opposite wing from the water bottle is awesome they didn't just leave that a dead space they really gave you a lot of versatility in that you have two little loops of paracord so you can run carabiners climbing stuff uh, you know whatever you would like on that as well as two points for molly compatible gear so you could put a secondary pouch there maybe your med kit you could in my case i lash my little fixed blade to uh, all sorts of different things that you could lash through there the only downside was that i wish that there was then a larger behind that larger pass through that i could get other wider than molly sized um attachments on it's just a little tiny nitpick thing but that would have been epic and just giving you three layers instead of two basically of attachment but there's so much versatility on that little wing right there i really like then you have a very large nylon strap that's really well built with the clip uh, that's large enough to go over my six foot two frame if you just want to throw this over your shoulder really quickly and carry it as almost more like a little messenger bag or something like that when you're just running out to the beach or something for you know 20 minutes and what's really nice is not only do they have the little elastic keepers for all the excess so they're not flapping all over the place but you they give you this little thumb ring d-ring i guess uh right there duraflex that works excellently to give you that extra little cinch to really make it nice and tight if you are carrying all your gear and this is like your scout bag for the day this gives you that extra little pull to then cinch down even tighter and make it really nice and snug around your waist or to release it when that time comes so i'm really happy about that little feature there really makes the carrying of this a lot easier well, there you have it, folks. I hope that this video has been fun and entertaining, but also giving you information about the bottle lock and how it can perform and whether or not it will fit into your systems when you get out there and enjoy the outdoors. I got to say, if this is what Grail is producing with the American made, you know, just awesomeness in partnership with Earthwell, I sure hope they do some other nylon, you know, cloth based gear in the future. And they really have laid out a hip pack to do things most other ones on the market just can't do. So that's pretty awesome and pretty impressive. And I look forward to hearing your guys' thoughts, comments. If you have any questions about this pack or just gear in general, I always appreciate the comments below, guys. And until next time, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.